great in heavy leather, but yeah. is she, I mean, you tasted her power. Um, I, is she a real puncher, or is, or is it more, what makes her strong uh, is just no, her no. activity? No, she's strong. Uh, she is strong. Um, yeah, she's a puncher. She, she's strong. You can tell. She's heavy-handed. But it wasn't uh, anything that we weren't prepared for, so I think if she would have had a little bit more speed, it would have been a little bit more troublesome. But because I could see it coming, and I was able to brace for things or catch things better, uh, make sure I wasn't there all the time to make things more What do you think your key was to outboxing her and neutralizing that strength and that aggressiveness? It was, it was a, you know, what me and my trainer, James Cooper, really practiced. It was a, it was a, a skew of things. And, you know, we were working on pulling her, we were working on jamming her, on turning her, on sometimes pushing her back, on sometimes letting her come forward, uh, switching up the angles of the punches, the cadence of the punches. Uh, we were just really trying to make sure that she didn't get my rhythm and trying to change it up so she could never get uh, on her rhythm. Despite the scoring, how, uh, at what point were you confident that you were going to win? This, you know, Olympic medal, world champion. Where would you rank winning the uh, ring belt and unifying? Where does that rank among your accomplishments? Um, this stamps the the best moment in my career uh, so far. Uh, definitely um, the sacrifice that came into the transitioning, the things that I've done outside of the ring and inside of the ring to really get here has been the most difficult journey that I've ever had. And I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity with the, the ring magazine belt, for the opportunity that uh, my promoters. And, uh, for the chances that my, my trainer and my team have, have given me along the way, and I would definitely say that this is the highlight of my of my boxing career. I have to ask you, Snisa Estrada sitting out there. What's more important to you, uh, a rematch with Estrada or becoming undisputed at flyweight? <laughs> undisputed, for sure. Okay. Snisa's just gonna be a cherry on top. 
a little bitty 108 cherry. So you've had three straight fights in Texas. When does the show come to you? Hopefully soon. You know, that's uh, up to my team. I'm to go with the boy. And they'll really discuss it. But uh, for sure, we, we really want to take it to Houston and do something uh, really big there. Really that would be a great city to support. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The other question. Thank you. 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 Thank you.